I have been thinking about the final words of Jesus before he was raised up into heaven to be seated at the right hand side of God the Father. Hello and welcome to the second video in the series Been Thinking About. Last time we heard about Jesus and some of the disciples on the shore having breakfast together. And today, I have been thinking about the last words of Jesus before he returned to be with God the Father in heaven. I have been writing and drawing pictures, as you can see here, and I've taken the time to type some of my thoughts up, and I'm going to share them with you today. So come and join me as we explore what Jesus said to his disciples before he returned to be with God the Father in heaven. And what did it all lead to? Let's start. So we know that the disciples were told to meet Jesus in Galilee. Jesus told them this before he was taken to be crucified, to die on a cross. And when in great power he was raised from death to life, he appeared to his followers and made it known that they should go to Galilee, that he would go ahead of them into Galilee and the disciples were to meet him there. So we know that Peter and six other disciples went to Galilee, and when they got there, they decided to go fishing. So seven of the disciples are in Galilee together. There were an additional four disciples, so 11 in total. 11 disciples from the original 12, because you've got to remember that Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus, was one of the 12 disciples. So there were only 11 left. Now these 11 disciples are in Galilee. I don't know if they travelled together or if they went in separate groups, but what I do know is that they are now all in Galilee, the place where Jesus had told them to be. I wonder why Jesus asked them to go to Galilee. Why did Jesus choose this place? I wonder if it was because Galilee was a familiar place to the disciples, a place where the disciples could feel safe. In Jerusalem, they did not feel safe. Jerusalem was the place where they had taken Jesus away to be crucified. Can you imagine what it must have been like for the disciples? Can you imagine how they were feeling? What kinds of fears do you think that the disciples had? Galilee was different. Galilee was a place where Jesus sat down and told people stories, teaching them about the kingdom of God. Galilee was a place where Jesus performed many, many miracles. Many miracles when the power of God was revealed to the people in extraordinary ways. And now the disciples had gathered once again in Galilee and the power of God was going to be revealed. Let me read something from the Bible for you. It's from Matthew chapter 28 verses 16 to 20. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. I wonder why some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority on heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Thanks be to God. So Jesus, who has all authority in heaven and earth, is telling the disciples to go and make more disciples of people in all nations, in all places around the world. It was going to be their turn to teach about the kingdom of God. 
It was going to be their turn to lead people in the way of Jesus. It was going to be their turn to call people to follow Jesus just like they did. And they were to baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So, I wonder, what do you think it means to baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit? So this is what the disciples were commanded to do, but they had to wait. They had to return to Jerusalem. And in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verse 49, Jesus said to them, Stay in the city until you have been clothed in power on high. So they were to return to Jerusalem, and they were to stay in Jerusalem, and they were to wait there. Jesus had given them their instructions on a mountain in Galilee, and then an extraordinary thing happened. I'm going to read about it for you in the book of Acts, chapter 1, verses 8 to 9. So Jesus is speaking to the disciples and he says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses in all Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taking up before their very eyes and a cloud hid him from their sight. Jesus had given them their final instruction and then he was raised up and he went up and through the clouds up into heaven to be seated by the right hand side of God the Father. How extraordinary. Can you imagine it? The disciples were on a mountain watching as Jesus was lifted up into the sky, through the clouds and into heaven to be at the right hand side of God the Father. As they all looked up to the sky, I wonder what the disciples were thinking. So the disciples were commanded to return to Jerusalem. They were told to wait. They were told that they would receive power from on high, power from the Holy Spirit, power from God. So the disciples did return to Jerusalem and they waited. And the most amazing things happened. You can read about them in the book of Acts chapter 2. When I think about the journey of the disciples to Galilee and their return to Jerusalem, it makes me think about how they were willing to follow. The disciples were willing to follow Jesus. They listened to the instruction Jesus gave them and they followed the instructions. It also made me think about how the disciples had to wait. I wonder what it was like for the disciples while they waited. I wonder what they were thinking. I wonder what they were feeling. Remember, in Jerusalem there was great danger. That was a place where Jesus had been taken to be crucified. But the disciples did what was asked of them. They waited. And then a time came when the Holy Spirit came down from heaven above to rest upon each and every one of them. They were in the place they once feared. But something had changed. The power of God was upon them. And even although they could not see Jesus with their eyes, Jesus was with them. They could feel it in their hearts. And with God, all things are possible. Why don't you read about it in the book of Acts chapter 2? What do you think about all that happened? I'd really like to pray for us now. Dear Jesus, thank you for being with us always. Holy Spirit, 
power of God, come and rest upon us today. Fill our hearts with love and send us out to share the love of God with everyone we meet. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you've enjoyed the second video of Been Thinking About. And why not read that chapter in Acts chapter 2, when the power of God, the Holy Spirit, came down to rest upon each and every disciple and the amazing things that happened after that. I look forward to seeing you the next time. Bye for now.